Shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. And Shalom, peace and blessings to those brethren out here pushing this word in sincerity and truth. And our much love to those sisters listening in humility. All right. So I want to get into this article real quick. Uh, it says this was posted today, September 23rd at 739. All right. So it says North Korea's top diplomat says strike against U.S. mainland is inevitable. All right. Inevitable means it's going to happen. There's no way around it. OK. Uh, it says North Korea's foreign minister warned Saturday that a strike against the U.S. mainland is inevitable. All right. And so they're trying to say it's because Tr President Trump uh, mocked Kim Jong Un and belittled and nicknamed Little Rocket Man. But we know it's, it's more than that. You know, it's not just about nicknames and. You know, you can be a bully and bully and bully, but eventually somebody going to punch back. So you can keep talking your mess all you want to, you know, but we all know it's the power of the Heavenly Father that's really conducting this orchestra. All right. And it's, it's about to go down beautifully, just like his plans had. All right. So this is the North Korea foreign minister right here. Uh, and his name is Rai Young Ho. And he says, through, a, through such a prolonged and arduous struggle, now we are finally only a few steps away from the final gate of completion of <coughs> the final gate of completion of the state nuclear force all right so they're only a few steps away and it's ironic because uh that's that's that's, that's the Lord speaking, right? Real talk. He's only a few steps away from his final gated completion of this state of nuclear force, all right? Of coming back in his full power, okay? So they can sit up and, and think they're really doing something, but uh, America's got another thing coming to them, okay? These countries ain't playing no more. We already know if you heard about the nuclear, uh, nuclear deal going on, you know, and how Iran is basically pulling out of the nuclear deal. Because Tehran, like, I guess they fired a missile. And so President Trump, of course, had a problem with that and all this kind of stuff. That's the thing about America. They want to be the only ones with guns. Esau. They want to be the only ones with guns. They want to tell everybody else they can't shoot them. They can't practice. They can't become a superpower. But we got all the weapons. Man, America's some clowns, man. All right. But uh, let me just get this real quick. In a rare statement on September 22nd, North Korea leader Kim Jong-un called President Trump a mentally deranged U.S. dotard. And I like to say dotard because that's how he act. But, you know, dotard is actually a perfect word describing him and his behavior. But it says vowing to tame him with fire. All right. So that's that's perfect because that's how the Lord is going to tame America, you know, and tame them to where they destroy completely off the earth. OK, uh, let me get this uh, scripture about North Korea, you know, because they bucking up. It says uh, this is Joel three and ten. Beat your plowshares and into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. All right. So equipment that's used for fishing, gardening, things like that. You know, they 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 put all of their power into their nuclear might into their war might. All right. It says, let the weak say I'm strong. So these, these smaller countries that, you know, America think is not a, a, not a big deal. There's not a big problem, but they're becoming problems. All right. They're becoming problems. And there's, and there's nothing that America can do about it. You know, they're trying to uh, fight and fight and fight, but there's nothing that America can do about it. Okay. And I actually, I, I read an article earlier that was talking about uh, I couldn't read into it because you had to get a subscription for it. But it was talking about how America uh, going to war with North Korea would be very costly. All right. It's going to be a very costly war. And World War Three is going to be very costly. But at that point, you know, th this money thing is, you know, is almost a wrap for that anyway, too. So, you know, with that, with that said, I'm going to say Shalom. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And shalom, on peace, and blessings to those brethren out here listening in sincerity and truth. Keep pushing, brethren, when we almost out of here. And shalom, on much love to those sisters listening in humility. Shalom. On.